Hi Golden friends, let's see what kind of tactics do we have today. Hmm. Queen back rank check, King G2, Rook check. Uh, I'm saying this because these are forcing moves. Rook check, then King has two places to go, either F3 or H3. And I believe I believe nothing, I believe in nothing, but maybe F3 is not so good because we have Queen D1 check grabbing his queen, so it is forced to go to H3. So let me do that then. This move and this move, these are forcing moves. Next, if I give a check at Mm. Okay, I, if I give a check at e6, defense with the queen, and it's not good. If I give a check at e3, defense with the rook or queen. In either case, what can we do next? Hmm... So we have two options. Oh, I can't even grab the rook, right? I, I just saw it. I grab the rook. Says check wins my rook. Oh, then at the end I win his queen. Grab the rook. So where to go with the queen? Somewhere that he cannot give next check. Maybe e6. Right, e6, no, e6, he can give a next check. C6, also, he can give a next check. Which one is better? Suppose I go e6, because e6 is good in a sense that the next move I will defend my rook. No, e6 is bad because he grabs the rook with check. So I go to c6. Oh, good, good. We got some points. Uh, he couldn't, okay, I had to show you, he couldn't take my rook because I was checking the king at mm, uh, h2 and then when king was going to g4, I was checking at g2 and the queen was on g8 and I was able to grab the queen. Sorry, I didn't show you that, but I hope that you could imagine what I said. Now I'm thinking about crazy move of uh, knight f2 attacking his queen and forcing him to move and what happens here is that is that if he takes with the knight with the king knight f2 or knight e3 both of them attacking his queen knight f2 also is good because blocks every piece of defending mm, g2 pawn so if he takes my knight with the if it doesn't take, then I made it with the uh, queen g2. If it takes my knight, I take the g2 pawn with check. Has only one valid square to go, and that's nowhere except, um, except e3. But I don't see the continuation from here. Goes e3. I don't have any check. I ran out of checks easily. Mm. Sounds very promising, but does nothing. Okay, I can uh, let's uh, um, calculate pure calculation right now. Knight f2 takes take g2 goes e3. Then I am thinking about maybe maybe. Rook g5 is an option because rook g5 then I want to go to e5 but that's very slow that's very slow because you can push the d pawn and prepare escape square for his king and the bad thing about the position is that f3 pawn is defended with his queen can I find a better continuation? Another direction is that knight g2 
of course it releases the knight and says that I'm attacking your territory but in that case he can play queen hmm, queen e2 notice that in this case I think it's uh, not very good to play king f2 because I take the pawn and I destroy his position without giving up hmm, any material and later I can even take the f pawn with the knight he cannot take back with the queen because my rook pins the queen and wins it at f8 so now let's discuss knight h2 knight h2 so king cannot go to f2 there are two options rook e2 queen e2 rook e2 sounds very bad because I take the f pawn with check and that's dangerous so mm, suppose rook f2 mm, that's mm, not killer move but uh, keeps my mm, attack running and mm, uh, reducing his defenders but uh, i don't think this is a good move because after all mm, he has queen e2 queen e2 and then i thought about queen e2 but then i said that i go queen g3 Queen e2 prevents knight takes f3 because if I take takes with the queen simply. So I thought about going to um, queen g3 then because I will want to take the f3 pawn anyways. Then at this moment he cannot move the king or he can move the king. maybe 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 he cannot maybe he can he can move the king to h1 then what else we will do i go queen h4 he moves back to yeah he moves back to g1 and that's fine so this isn't the good way I don't see any way and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. So I go queen rune knight f2 and we will see what's the solution afterwards. What's the solution? Knight there, takes. Okay. Okay. This was one move that I discussed and I immediately, immediately <laughs> ignored it because I saw that it's bad. But apparently it was good. So check with the queen moves the king away or brings it close i think it moves it away because yeah it moves it away because otherwise we are close to mating the king another option is to take the pawn with the rook takes take and my plan is to bring the other rook into attack and win the position but maybe it's not that easy that i'm saying or maybe it is mm. but i think queen d6 is very good let's go queen d6 no take the take takes and then bring the rook into attack or bring the knight into the attack I think um, bring the rook into attack is better. Let's take. Take. So rook d3 or yeah d3 sounds better place to go. And then king check. No queen check. Yeah queen check. Queen check defense, right? Defense with the knight itself. Uh, I can check from a good square from b5. I thought about um, b6 check, then knight um, uh, b7. Then if I double the rook, then place the rook on d7, defense the knight, and I have nothing. But if I give a check at... If I give a check at uh, 
b6 uh, at b5 he cannot defend the knight later with the rook but the point is that he can run with the king queen b5 check king goes to uh, king goes to where goes to c7 and escapes from my attack so what i'm supposed to do at this moment i cannot check with the rook at b3 this is unfortunate but okay i go for the, the most logical move b5 and then play rook there okay gives up gives up and we liked it check with the bishop goes back take the pawn with check oh maybe it doesn't go back check with the queen what about check with the queen no, let's say check with the bishop no, either goes to e2 or goes to e3 no other option exists actually e3 is bad because the rook uh, d3 we force um, our opponent to go to e2 anyway so let's do it so the rook e3 no sorry rook d3 check goes to e2 and then it's a mate right or i'm missing something as usual no i didn't fortunately hmm in this position i'm thinking about taking the yeah it's crazy taking the pawn but oh oh he has a queen as well he has a queen up there i thought that we have a uh, rook queen knight and our opponent has two rook two pieces minor pieces we are already up material so calm down and win the game but we are down material we are down complete rook and bishop Whose game was this? Sacrificing a rook and a bishop to win. And interestingly, blacks, black didn't develop pieces like rook and bishop are in their original position. So let's get back to the puzzle. Queen a8 check, rook is a7 check. King at this moment is either on d6 or it is on and, uh, with the first check it goes up with the second check it goes up or down so first uh, either it is on d6 or is on e7 e8 sorry if it is on e8 then we are done because we check with the queen at uh, c6 and and are we done not really defense with the rook defense with the knight uh, cannot defend with the rook because we have a mating attack uh, the other rook joins the attack goes to a8 and delivers mate basically and but defense with the knight defense with the knight in this situation what can we do so first check is forced let's do it and the second check could be with the queen actually no i check with the queen instead of checking with rook and king stays in the same line and then i use my rook oh wait a moment wait a moment if i use the rook yes my rook cannot go up because i check with the knight or i can directly check with the knight right now why knight why not let's check with the knight right away right it doesn't have any place to go wow luckily we got it correctly it was able to make a mistake and move the rook so this position is saying that if we take the bishop plays knight f6 check and we cannot grab it with either rook or pound because yeah it is pinned rook is pinned and pawn is also pinned 
so we lose Um, we lose because we had to have to move the king to h8 and once we move the king to h8 and then is the end of the day so we should defend the mating attack maybe maybe by playing a stupid looking move of yeah a stupid looking move of um, bishop f5 because where he mates us oh he mates us uh, at h7 is one option another option is at h5 so bishop um, bishop f5 doesn't stop mate at h5 right another option is to get rid of a pin by by playing bishop uh, e6 bishop e6 in this case if takes with the queen we take back with the we take the other bishop with the with our queen and soon we will mate it if it doesn't take this is the critical scenario we should discuss if it doesn't take place knight f6 we take the knight if it takes our bishop we take the kit back with the rook if it takes our rook we again take it back with the other rook so it's good so we have to take there is no other option we have to take again there is no other option and we have to take we have to take or we don't need to take if we take no we don't need to take do we and just move the king away and i will grab the bishop later wow very good run today we had very good run and we are close to 3000 let's see what happens in upcoming days bye